is the part that uh, Spencer hates when I leave it in. But what he doesn't realize is that this is a stream archive and you don't up, you know, just edit stream archives. They just happen. All right, now I'm streaming it. Let me continue. Oh, good start. <sighs> the goal is get to 10. I disagree. Goat simul okay, first of all. What? No. Is Goat Simulator a legit game for trophies or is it my name is Mayo? You decide. What's up everyone? Come watch a pipe and hot steaming plate. Of rage. <sighs> the goal is to get to ten. Just ten. It's so easy. It's right there. Let the hate flow through you. Do it. Do it. Let the hate flow through you. What I hate the most about this is that I was pretty good at regular Flappy Bird on the phone, but this controls for this is just garbage. The lag input is garbage. The drop, garbage. The ladders, garbage. His hitbox, garbage. <sighs> so the highest I've gotten is seven, but barely. Like I got, or I'm sorry, but like I, it should have been eight. Like I was on the other side of the ladders at seven and it didn't give it to me. So far, the furthest on stream is five. Halfway. See, every time the goat has fire come out of it, that's my rage right there. That's how I feel. Why are you streaming at like 12.30? There should be evidence enough. If you were doing anything else at 12.30, other than watching me play a flappy goat, this is it. Sometimes it looks like you don't even touch it and it's a fail. Now you understand why I'm so angry. Like Guild War 2, Guild Wars 2, my phone yelled at you were on. There you go. Your phone yelled at you. 12.30. Get to watching the streamer. Let's go. <sighs> Make sure you weren't having a mental breakdown, but you're playing this so unsure. I oh, know, I definitely am. Distracted me. I hate you. I hate you so much, you goat shit. I should have uh, put my audio back in. I was listening to music trying this and it didn't work. How long have you been trying this? About 40 minutes now. So I started this 
at roughly, I don't know, um, probably 35 minutes in. Done. Don't need to do any more. Did it. Alrighty then. Well, that's easy. Ugh. Started watching Full Monocle's Brotherhood. Man, I didn't think it was going to tug at my emotions like this. I've been trying to watch FMA Brotherhood, but I'm not really enjoying it. I recommend getting back into it. It's really good. Uh, should I just end the stream? Like, what? <laughs> oh, beautiful. Okay. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting to beat it, to be honest. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay. So I was actually in the middle of trophy hunting, like literally. So let's go head back outside and power hole. Okay. That's over with. You can see actual goat simulator if you want to now. Um, hold on. I don't have any of the DLC, so I don't have any of this. I have... I want to put these back on. I can be a feather goat if I want to. Or a tall goat. I think we'll go with regular goats for now. Um, ripped goat, yes. Of course. Robot goat? It's about the same size. I could do that. I can get away with it. Um... Italian dinosaur goat. I don't know what that means. I think it means Bowser. Grab stuff by looking for special buttons to make bombs. No, I don't want to do that. All right. That should be fine. Oh. I'm loving it. Might as well do a mini game and start that mini game and start you. You know what? You're right. Let me make sure I save. Okay, hold on. Let me make sure it saves again. So I gotta go outside. Look for shit. Fuck you and the game you made. This is a. Uh, this is the headquarters of the studio who made this game. This is supposed to be them, the programmers, so. I feel like that was justified. Okay. Moving on. Is game fun aside from the Flappy Goat? Yeah, honestly, it's a lot of fun. Just such dumb, like, it's just dumb fun. One of the more uh, relaxed trophies I've had, I've gone for in a while. Alright, it should be around here. Based on this visual guide I have. I'm looking for purple-ish flowers. Looks kind of like it's further away, so it might be up here. Yeah, hold on. No, that's definitely from that angle. Hold on. I think it's up here. Oh, this looks right. Hold on. Yeah. Which would make it... Right there. There we go. So we're going to get 30 of these. I just wanted to make sure it's saved. So I'll get those later. Alright, might as well, uh, might as well do Stardew. Fubar's right. If I'm in the groove, I might as well. Because, I mean, if I want to hate myself, I might as well hate myself. Let's update this shite. <sighs> Sick PSN background. I like it. I thought you didn't like Final Fantasy X. Star Dew Valley Prairie King No Death Run There are 601 viewers for Stardew Valley right now, so someone else is streaming this. Or you know Jack 2. I finished Jack 2. Why would I stream it anymore? 
I platinum it. There's no reason to. I like FFX, but it's low on my FF ratings. But you still like it. That's important. All right. Oh boy. I don't know why I'm doing this. This is a terrible idea, Fubar. I don't agree with this at all. Did I not upgrade, update my thing? Because that would be like me. Hang on. Now well, I updated. Just my refresh did not update. All right, there we go. Okay, now I'm ready. So I learned after reading the forums that luck doesn't actually help you uh, playing this mini game. I'm gonna keep doing it anyway. To be honest. What's the next stream? This may be our last chance. This is my story. It's gonna go the way I want, or I won't let it go at all. But mine, I feel dumb and I feel bad and fat. Thanks, Nick. You're welcome. Are you sure you also feel ugly? Because we need to make sure if you feel that too. If I can beat one difficult trophy tonight, then I can obviously beat any difficult trophy tonight. Sean, shouldn't you not want me to play this? Because if I get this, then I basically have a, a free platinum, because I have just written this game off. As in this platinum is never going to happen. So that would just be like a bonus platinum. Dun, dun. Or is your love of trophy hunting, just like you know, the sense of accomplishment and pride... That I would get from this. Oh, well, it's over. It's not over. Love isn't over. I don't have nearly enough shots. Thank you, Mr. Squirrel. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. Music is a lot better in this than it was in Ghost Simulator. I'll give it that. Never said I wanted you to play this. That's true. Now you make me feel pretty. So pretty and pr pretty and witty and gay. I feel... What is that from? I feel like I don't actually know that. I know it from being like referenced in other things. <sighs> Finally got my first platinum. Nice. What came? And that was lucky that it lasted that long. Oh, I knew it was risky when I was doing it. All right. Simpsons? Wait, Platinum in the Simpsons? What? What Simpsons? The Simpsons game for PS3, maybe? I can't think of another Simpsons game. Oh, Sly Cooper? Nice. It's one of my favorite games to Platinum. I say one of my favorites because I've done it three times now. Just that, that's, uh, that game is so fun to 100%. That's why we have the yearly 100% race between me and Carlos. It's just such a fun thing to do. Jumping in to say good luck, Nick. Thanks, Eniac. Go to bed with your girlfriend. Get out of here. You're not wanted. I'm getting reckless. I can feel it. Doesn't Smithers sing it? I'm just imagining that. Oh, where that song came from? No, it's definitely from something. The Simpsons was parodying it. Parody, parodying it. I don't know what from. Now working on Sly 2. Sly 2 is slightly tougher. Um, not crazy. It's mostly just beat the game. Oh, I'm fucked. Beat the game, um, get all, get enough coins to buy all the power-ups. Um, I don't think there's much else. Also, really, the game, the timer's just up, and we're gonna spawn a thousand guys. That's real fair. Um, yeah, I don't remember there being any difficult ones, and Sly, Sly 3 has a slightly harder platinum, because you have to do all the challenges and shit, but... Google says West Side Story? That makes sense. Not that I've seen West Side Story, but I think I've seen it once, like half paying attention in school, when we were learning Romeo and Juliet, because it is just Romeo and Juliet. Um, but yeah, that would explain things. 
uh, I was playing Goat Simulator, and then I beat the part that I planned on doing, and I wasn't expecting it. It was a whopping six minutes long. <laughs> so, we moved on. Oh, I can feel it. Life slipping away from me. I never remember to use my power-ups. I don't want to play this game. <laughs> I have another rage game I have to play too. Um, so I've been playing Dragon Quest Heroes, and one of the only things I, left, I have left to do is to beat two of the super bosses. Uh, Zoma and Nocturnus. So, I could try that. But let's do... I'll try starting three more times, so it's still a five. I don't know what platinum, platinum to go for next. I'm close on a bunch of them. The other option is I could just grind out my 72,000 zombie kills in Dead Rising 2. I wonder what true achievement or true trophies would say about the rarity of Dead Rising 2 on PS4. So the reason this game isn't like as rage inducing is that it's not a slow it's a slow burn in that you know you get somewhat far into the game each time and it's not like Flappy Goat where it's like failure is instant or games like Hotline Miami or Binding of Isaac where it can just happen really quick. Things can turn to shit real fast. It's not like that. I honestly don't think co-op is going to make this easier. I'd like, I think I'm okay as a gamer. I think I'm a, no, you know what? I think I'm an above average gamer. And I, I think I can say that. I don't know how I am at twin stick shooters. I don't think I'm great at them, to be honest. Like, there was this, there's a mini game very similar to this in Ratchet and Clank, um, A Crack in Time. I don't remember if you platinum that, Sean. Um, it's, you have to get like 10,000 points in, um, I forget what it's called. Uh, but it's like a, it's a game exactly like this with Quark and, uh, Rusty Pete. And I, um, I just, I sucked at that game too. That one took me like a week or two to beat and it wasn't even, it wasn't nearly the level of this. I feel like whenever I spawn this, they always stop spawning. Everyone see they're remastering the original Dark Souls? I don't know what that is. That doesn't sound like a thing. What's Dark Souls? All I know is Bloodborne. Actually, <laughs> all I know is Crash. Isn't Crash like the new Dark Souls? Right, guys? Am I right? Get it? Because all the review places kept saying it's the new Dark. It's like Dark Souls. When A, Crash came first, and B, it's nothing like Dark Souls. This game is hard is not the same as saying it's like Dark Souls. They play very differently. Oh god, there's too many enemies on screen. Oh, I'm so fucked. Jesus, take the wheel. Shotguns everywhere, which is nice. At least I'm getting enough power-ups. Usually when I play this, I'll do really well and then get fuck all for power-ups, or I'll do badly and get a bunch of power-ups. It's like the game like adjusts your difficulty as it goes. Fifteen exactly, thank you! I wasn't even going for this. Crash one wasn't even that hard. I'll say this, I thought I would breeze through Slyco where we got stuck in both of the goddamn car races. Fuck those levels. Yeah, I have trouble with those. <sighs> so now I have uh, my shots do two damage. And if it defeats a, a weaker enemy, it'll pierce through and go to the next one. Very, very handy. Which just means it's my game to fuck up now. So, like, I can take these fucks out with one shot now. You're no longer a threat to me! Well, it's still a threat. No, oh, here we go. Oh, I need that star so badly. Oh, God, I didn't mean to grab two of them. Shit, I could have saved one. 
Right, I do need to shave a shave, save a shadow box for the uh, for the boss, which has not worked for me the last couple times I've tried it. Yeah, let's just destroy everything. Why not? Who cares? I need to get risky here, though. Every power up at once. At me, game. Alright, power ups are starting to wear off. I have a lot of game left. Oh, I almost went for that coin. It's not worth it. It's too many dead enemies. Like, I'm all for getting coins, but if I end the run, that's dumb. Not worth it. So, I've explained this before, but the insta death, um, power up, while well, it can be great for emergencies, in general, you want to try not to use it because a lot of getting a perfect run relies on having a lot of money. And if you use the insta death, they will, enemies won't drop anything, so it'd be kind of fucked. Hope DBZ Fighter Z has an easy platinum. What was the one that uh, you already played? Is this just like a different version of it? Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, here we go. I can see a coin over there, but it's not worth it. Oh shit, here we go. I don't like that they go in different speeds. It throws me off. They're all just gathering in the middle. Nice. Oh, thank you, wagon wheel. Base wagon wheel, I need you. Help me, wagon wheel. You're my only hope. Yeah, there we go. Right in the sweet spot. Alright. Wagon wheel, you, you did your part. Thank you. So, this level, it's good to be in the middle, but it's harder to pick up drops if you're in the middle. So you can, like, play the, the dumb game and, like, kind of let them walk in a little bit, but it's really easy to get swarmed if you do that. You gotta be real brave. Alright, alright. Let's all agree that you're all big tough guys. God, I feel like I'm in the fucking Thunderdome. Okay, here we go. Power up. Take it. Oh, man. That guy ran in fast. Okay. I need... Actually, I have enough. You need, um... Ten coins, I think? To get the, uh... What do you call it? Um... To get the rate of fire upgrade. Oh, God. This is stressful. If I get this, I'm in a good, I'm in a good position. Oh... Battle of Z, completely different style of game. Fighter Z comes out in two weeks. Fighter Z is traditional style fighter game like MVC or something. Looks legit. Battle of Z was its own weird ass thing. Gotcha. I feel when Nick knows my life enough to burn me in stream. <laughs> Poor ENIAC. I mean, if you come into like 70 different streams and say, I gotta go, meeting up with my girlfriend, then I know what you're about to do when you say, hey, just stopping in for a second. It's that easy. Alright, so you can cheat. You're not supposed to be able to do this. Um, but if you, uh... <laughs> if you use the shadow box, it teleports you. And it can randomly teleport you across the way. Which is a super easy way to kill this boss. Oh, I haven't made it this far in a while. I don't feel good about this. I don't think I'm gonna beat it. I really don't. I'm definitely not experienced enough in the third, um... level to do this. Getting Fighter Z and Monster Hunter the same day rip the Platinum Race. They're long Platinums. Now I feel you. Digimon's gonna set us both back a while, I think. You're getting Digimon at launch, right? Like, I love Digimon, but I know that's gonna take fucking forever. Okay, having upgraded shots here is very helpful, because they're very fast, and being able to shoot through them is pretty good, especially defeating these, like, big ogre guys, too. Like, not every run will you have the upgraded shot first, or even, like, at this point. So having it now is super goddamn helpful. I think it's your run's basically over if you don't get it by the second one. I I don't like the shadow box. I find it really dangerous to use. It'd be great if they could drop money though, because I'm gonna. There's another upgrade after the screen, and I don't have enough for any upgrade whatsoever. So that'd be nice. Okay, that one dropped money. Man, you were all dropping so much shit, and now we get to this level and you're dropping nothing. Shit. 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 I can't remember how many shots these guys take. They might take two. Which is why I'm blowing through them right now. Oh, I knew it was dangerous! Stupid! Stupid! 
And they gave me nothing. Watch, I'll keep playing, and we'll see how many fucking drops these guys give me. Nothing, still. Okay, this makes you feel slightly better. But then they're just not rewarding me, regardless. Oh, no, never mind, here we go. <sighs> Damn it. I might as well finish this run. Hell, I'm putting off sex to watch you, Nick. You're so cool, Under. I'm sure it is just your decision in that matter. <laughs> what's what's the line of Rosanna? Way to go, Joker. That Morgana always says. Not getting Digimon at all? Really, Sean? How come? Any particular reason? Just not feeling it? Just didn't enjoy Cyber Sleuth? Just not a real Digimon fan? I said it. Yeah, I said it. See, I'm stuck because I run a Digimon channel, so I have to... I have to get it. I'd probably get it at launch anyway. But I am definitely less enthused about the, uh... The Cyber Sleuth series than I am about, like, the World series, so... I can feel you. Feels less bad when I know that my run's already fucked, but still. It still hurts to die. Like, a lot. I'm just in so much pain inside. Like, why? I had a good run. It totally wasn't her saying not tonight. Exactly. I wasn't a huge fan of Cyber Sleuth. I'm not a fan of the direction they're going in the design of all these new Digimon. Uh, what do you mean? Like, the design of new Digimon they're adding in post? Or Digimon that weren't in the PS4 games that they're now adding in? I'm just confused by what you mean. I really do hope they have a better... I'll, I know they have a better roster, but I hope they have more... I think they've confirmed every Digimon at this point, haven't they? My big question was, are they leaving out any that were added into Next Order or Cyber Sleuth? Like, if you already have the models, there's no reason to leave anyone out. In my opinion. I guess the good news is they've had some time to develop this game, so... Like, I think the Royal Nights mostly looks stupid, and it seems like every Mega is way over the top now. Oh, you mean, like, in general, like, how Digimon's been taking it for a while? You know, really. I mean, that's kind of how they have to do it. It's kind of like a... how do I put it? Not an arms race, but it's like a... kind of situation where you have to keep topping yourself. Because of the initial ones. Hacker's Memory on Vita as well? Yes. I was reading chat and I looked away. Oh god. <sighs> I don't want to play this. Preferred when champions and ultimates were usable, megas were reverse, reserved for important Digimon. That's a long time ago. That's, um. That's way back. I don't even. I mean. I guess World 3 did that properly. But even then, World 3 Ultimates, I think, were the shortest ones that you used. Because you, you could usually get certain Megas very quickly. Um, I don't know. It's hard to pace that properly. Because I think... How do I, I think the Digimon World DS was the last one to do it properly. Because you, didn't, you literally just couldn't fuse... I'm sorry, you couldn't Digivolve to a certain rank like you couldn't get this champion you couldn't get to ultimate until you got to a certain po point in the story whereas in cyber sleuth i'm pretty sure it's whenever as long as you raise it well enough so i feel where you're coming from i'm gonna change it again I'm just salty there, excluding when Digimon for all these Digimon that weren't part of my childhood. It is kind of weird. It's a fairly important character. So I'm just kind of surprised. There are 10 viewers watching Dragon Quest 8 right now. 
and 320 watching Dragon Quest Heroes. Interesting. Oh. <sighs> Okay, so I was having trouble with this for good reason. It's that Zoma's a dick. Um, that should be okay. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. Is this the one that bounces? Yeah, okay. You'll see why this is... Actually, I should change it over. Um, so the reason this is bullshit is that Zoma is like a boss at the end of one of the Dragon Quest games. I don't know which one. I can't remember. Um, but he's a dickhead. And he'll just, like, freeze you for most of <laughs> the round. So you have to equip non-freezing stuff. But then also, you just have to hope for the best. That's not even, like, the last trophy I have to do. It's just one of the last ones. So, I'll show in a second, and you can, you free, you can decide for yourself how bullshit it is. The issue with this is that in Japan, these were DLC bosses, but because this released later in uh, North America, this isn't who I wanted to face. This is Nocturnus. I was not ready to fight him. Although, I don't think I have to be ready. Um, yeah, so I could just fight him first, I guess. Alright, never mind. I died immediately. Par for the course, eh? Alright. I wasn't ready to fight this one. I was trying to fight the other one. Okay, here we go. So here's what I do. Terry has a move that makes it so every time he hits, he gets health back. And then he also has a move that makes copies himself. So then you can just keep fighting. Um, and every time you attack, you heal yourself. And every time you deal damage, it's like times three. Alright, I can't beat this. This is the first time I've fought this dude, literally. I, I can't. Um, my first time seeing this game. It looks cool. It's fun. I enjoy it. I, I'm going to go back because I was not prepared to fight him. Uh, so, Nick, let me ask you a personal question. Like, Out of everything you did and do, why was YouTube and Twitch the career path you wanted to go with? This is very much not a career, Under. I would have to be getting a lot more money to, get, to make this a career. I don't even get paid a tenth of my rent. Like, <laughs> it's not, it's not, not even close. It's very much, and I hate to admit this, it's still a hobby at this point. And it's just because I like attention and I like playing video games. And I think I'm pretty entertaining. So, not to toot my own horn, but that's mostly why. So, I enjoy it. It's fun to do. Think, if I took it more seriously, and dedicate more time to it. I could pick up the channel a bit more, but it's a lot more than I'm willing to do. Alright, so you can technically... He gives you an, an, item, an item. I don't know if this is in the actual game. This is Zoma, though. Um, use the item, and then he's still a pain in the ass. But if you, um, if you don't use the item, you can have an even tougher fight. But what I was trying to say is that the annoying thing is that these are super boss DLC characters. Um, and... They weren't required for the Platinum in the Japanese version, but they are in this one, and that makes me annoyed. Yeah, so he just almost exclusively cast Blizzard Magic. Okay, I thought if I targeted him. But I have, so what I have is I have two bunny tails, which are um, designed to, they're designed to make me stay frozen less. So when he does use the, the blizzard attacks on me, it's like 80% of the time I'd normally be frozen. Let's see, it's, that's not particularly that fast, and I'm still grateful for it. So the strategy that I've seen is to just use this attack, kind of hit him from a distance, pepper in your attacks as you're dodging. I have... Um, the three party members I bought are Terry, who's a big damage dealer, but also his weapon can lower the enemy's defense. And then I have Jessica, who's a healer. And then I have... Goddamn. And then I have um, 
Nira, who buffs the party, so she makes us attack stronger. I think I dodged that. Or they can just stand still for no reason. Oh, damn it, I thought I had that. This is my first time using this uh, particular... This is my first time using this particular like uh, setup. So this is how long it is to stay frozen without, without the buffs. And as you can see, it's absolute garbage. <laughs> Impossible. Okay, I did not want to do this. Yep. It's over. Love is over. They recommend you have your whole party equip the, the accessory, but I didn't want to grind them out, so I thought I can get away with this. I now see the error of my ways. It's, it's, this is the first time I fought him. I was like, "This is garbage. Why would anyone do this?" And I still think that, to be honest. Just, just leave me alone. Nope. So, the difference is that he does only target the main character. So, if you're kind of running around. He'll only target you, so you can lead him away from your teammates. But as soon as you go down, you're pretty fucked. Which is why I think in the video I saw, if you st if the guy starts to get low on health, he uses usually switches to another character so that they'll start targeting someone else. Fuck. This boss is such a dick. <laughs> He's not fun. Why did I sleep on this game? It looks really good. I recommend picking it up on the next sale. Um, it looks good. It plays well. Story's okay. Um... But I was pleasantly surprised. I'm really, really looking forward to playing the second one, but I refuse to do it until I beat this game. And by beat, I mean platinum. <laughs> Not even close. I gotta get used to reading his attacks better. Okay, here we go. Oh, I don't think I made that one. Oh, no. Okay. Nope. I don't know if he does... Oh, so he can negate helpful effects. Probably like, uh, oomph or whatever. Sean, I forget, did you play other Dragon Quest games? Or did you just play 8? Because I've more or less only played 8, and I'm still really enjoying it. Uh, they have Yangus and Jessica from 8, but no one else. I think in Dragon Quest Heroes 2, Angelo gets added. I don't know if there's um, other bosses that are um, that are from eight. The only one I can think of is they have the traditional ones like the Gigantes and the Atlas, like the giant Cyclops ones. But I don't think there's like any eight exclusive bosses. No, I didn't want to get hit by that. Nope. Stay away. I missed. That doesn't feel. That doesn't feel good. Oh no! Leave me alone. I'm getting the timing off now. I can't get hit by that attacker. That's definitely instant death. Uh oh. Do not want. Ah oh, shit. I think as long as he's paying attention to me, that Terry can kind of go after him, and Terry's pretty strong on his own, so he'll get some good hits in. So you also have heal stones you can use, which, uh, the ones I have are full heal, and they'll fully heal everyone in the party, which is a pretty handy, uh, little trick to have. Not required by any means, but definitely speeds things up. Please get away from me. So this is more or less the only ranged attack that the main character has, but it also does enough damage where it's like reliable. It's pretty much how I got through most of the base game, which is using this on every group of enemies. Oh man. You guys need to get away from me. This is not safe for you. Uh, what did I tell them? I didn't listen. Ooh. I barely got out of there. I can't tell exactly how much damage it's doing, but it's not that much. It also helps that I max my characters to level 99. Ooh, I thought I missed that. That's not good. I gotta get him up ASAP. 
Okay. I don't want him targeting other characters. That's bad for me. Doing okay. For This is my first attempt with, like, the proper gear and strategies and stuff. I really do wish my teammates would kind of just, you know, do their shit, but... They seem very against that for some reason. Almost killed Terry. That's not good. So the little uh, purple bar is your uh, tension meter. And when that fills up, you can go into a uh, state of high tension. And um, that's exactly how it sounds. It um, You do more damage and stuff. And you also don't cost MP to... Or it doesn't cost MP to use skills. That's good. And you, all, and you get a super move too, which does a bunch of damage. It does look like they're just standing there, which I'm not a fan of. But I can occasionally see their damage going out. Oh, shit. I should full heal. Oh, Jessica's healed us. We're good. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. I need a break. I'm gonna watch you attempt to kill him while I play Dead Cells. Nice. Just eight. I think I had the first one for NES, but I was too dumb to figure it out. I can feel that. Uh, I want to go back and play um, four specifically. I've heard is good, and then um, uh, I heard there was another one too. I can't remember which one it is now. I heard one, two, and three. Might have just been one and two, where the story isn't isn't worth like the outdated controls and shit. But, um, the other ones it is, so. High praise, I've heard. Ah, damn it. I saw that coming and didn't really do anything. Alright. I should try and, if it's not too much to focus on, I should try and, um... Oh, I thought I had that. If it's not too much to focus on, I should really... Whoa, what is he doing? I don't... This move is new. Get unfrozen, I'm so close. Just there we go. Okay. All right. Leave him alone. These are new moves that I was I've never seen, and I'm ultimately not prepared for. Wow, you dick. Should have been ready for the change up. Half, the boss has half of its HP. Well, then you know that shit's about to change. I've also heard I'm supposed to keep my distance. And I don't. And I think he won't do that breath move like that if I'm far enough away. I'm so close. I'm so close to high tension. Everyone get away! Okay. Get away from me. Nope! Nope. Okay, here we go. I don't know if I take damage during this. I probably do. But I do know, I definitely don't, um. I definitely don't get frozen, so I'm kind of just doing whatever I want. Terry's dead, that's not good. I let this happen. I have to try and pick up Terry while I'm running around. Alright, he looks... Shit, he looks down. Where the fuck is Terry? I was so close. Okay. Just get away from me. Nope. 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 Come on. Come on. Get up. Ooh, I needed that. Hey guys, you should attack him. I think that'd go great. Once he gets under 10% health, he starts spamming attacks. I should have saved it. I can't... Oh. I thought I had more time. Okay, so now he does that three times in a row. That's good to know. Let me change the way that ice move works. I wonder if Terry's close to uh, Coup de Grossing. If he is, then I'll be in a good spot. Ooh. Nope, wasn't ready. I'm dead. Oh god, I can't believe I healed in time. Or I didn't heal. But now I will. Alright. I can't really... Okay, it looks like Terry and Jessica have um, 
Shit. It looks like they both have their Coupe Grosses charged. So. It might be good to do Terry's right now, actually. Here we go. This is where the most damage gets done. I can do it. Fuck yes! Terry for the win! It's making up the 10% of things. It's a cool RPG thing to do. Well, thank you, because it made me uh, look at his HP more. Knights! That's one down. Supposedly he's the harder one, too, so he's going to take out Nocturnus now. I got silver clear time. Which I don't know if I needed a certain clear to get a better weapon. I really hope I didn't. Oh, they do this automatically, too. Hey, Kivu, what's up? Please be a weapon. Airtrix Orb. Good, I needed that. I think. I don't think I had that already. So the, there are two trophies that you need to beat all the bosses for. You need to complete the monster compendium, and you need to get all weapons and armor. And in order to do that, you need um, to beat the super bosses, because A, they count as monsters that you have to beat for the monster compendium. B, they also drop equipment. About half asleep? Nice. Okay, what does Urgic Orb do? I'm curious. Magical resistance plus 50%. Damn. Would have been great against him. Oh, there's another trophy I still have to get to, which is to get a Puff Puff from every character, and I don't know which ones I'm missing. I think I have his. Let's see. I'll just show this off, because this is... Excuse me to be bothering you, Captain, but might I Im impinge upon your time for a temporary moment? A moment is all you require. How may I be of assistance? In truth, there is minor something I wish for you to hear. I am with much embarrassment, so pleased to make requests before others was too much fearful hurdle to overcome. You seem troubled indeed, Kiro. Ah, uh, but of course, an affair of the heart. I believe I had an inkling already of. Captain, no. He's entirely separate world together. This is a problem of more immediate concern. I have idea. Perhaps if you could be so kind to close eyes for a swift moment. Understood. Well, if you insist, like this, just like so. In this case, I shall commence. Puff puff. Yes. Is concluded. Well, how do you find it? Yes. How do I? Do you speak as it sound akin to the biggest? So anyway, um, yes. this is a joke. I think it started in Dragon Quest Eight, where puff puff was when it was implied that it was buxom women putting their breasts against your face, and there's a secret scene you can see at the end where, in fact, but they there was not doing that. What they were doing instead was taking two slimes and rubbing them against their clients' faces and just kind of implying that it was the other thing. So the joke is, every one of them has their own thing, and it's like, none of them are doing actual puff puffs. But there's different jokes and stuff like that. Like, I think um, Bianca's was like perfume or something. Uh, Terry has one. I've seen Kirill's, Yangus's, Terry's, Elena's, I think, Bianca's. I haven't seen hers. I haven't seen hers. Uh, I haven't seen hers. I think I've seen everyone else's, though. I think. And I think only one of them gives you a chance to do it every time you come in here. It's one that I realized I should have been going for since I started the game, but I didn't. So basically my routine is just like run in here, talk to everyone, and then hope that I trigger a scene. If you haven't gotten them already, they won't like ask you like Kirill did. So I've already had him, so... They'll just straight up do it, and it'll launch into a cutscene, but you need to get one from everyone. It's an annoying trophy. And it annoys me that so many people have it, because I just don't understand how they could. Alright. Eleanor, you're amazing. Can't believe you defeated that horrible demon. You're just like the heroes who sealed him away so many years ago. Well, apart from your outfits, which is why I whipped up some new clothes to mark the occasion. Now everyone will know you're for the legendary heroes you are. Oh. Contained Lucius's Dragon Quest Three costume. Well, that uh, answers that question. It came from Dragon Quest Three. What do these outfits look like? I'm excited because they add every character has two outfits for doing their like special quests. But what annoys me is that they're just color swaps. Like, look. Oh, now he's oh now different colors. What a crazy new outfit. Oh, crazy. This is an actual different outfit. That's actually pretty cool. 
I'm sure Dragon Quest Heroes 2 has more like actual outfit changes. What is um what's her face look like? Oh, there isn't a female version. Okay. Alright, so we got that done. Um I should refill my heels, which are very expensive, which is why I'm only doing them on um the final uh what do you call them? Final bosses. I've got one more, and that'll actually complete my um my monster compendium and I think my equipment well not my equipment one, there's more shit I have to do for that. Um I looked on PSN profiles and this has like a, a ten to twenty percent platinum rate, which I think is ridiculous because I've been playing this for a while and not only is it hard, there's just so much shit to do. I just find it very hard to believe that it's that easy. Alright, here we go. This time I'm gonna try and do mostly Terry. Terry, I think I can do this. I think Nocturnus has less health, but he's just he's more of like a heavy hitter. So once I learn his moves, it shouldn't be too tough. It's like a straight up fight. Oh shit, what here we go. He casts a buff, which I'm not about. Oh, well, good start. I don't know who, where Nocturnus is from either, so. I don't know what to do here. It looks like that move, though. Should be easy enough. To, okay, I don't know how I was supposed to dodge that. What? What was my. What was the plan there? And also just random lightning. I can't do anything with this. Oh, Terry! Can't wait for DQ11. I'm excited for it. Oh, yep, here we go. Miracle Slash. I'm dead. I can see it. Yep. What is the range of this attack? I can't get out of it. I guess... So I guess the difference with this one is that the other one we had to dodge everything, but this one... I think you have to guard everything? What's the guard button? I don't even know the guard button. I don't, I don't use it. Oh, it is L1. Yeah. They definitely want you to guard... So instead, I gotta get used to it. instead of dodging, just guard. Okay. Actually, they'll let me retry this. I don't know what he just did. Oh. <laughs> like he doesn't have too much attack from like the little bit of damage I did to him. You can see his health bar deplete. So. dead. Don't get me out of this shit. Okay, here we go. I'm ready. I believe in myself this time. Okay. Just got a guard. That's the only difference. I did not do that properly. Press the wrong button. So this is the idea. You do... Oh, he's oomphing himself, that's why. So you, um... Shit. I do have to dodge these. So you, um... The plan is... Okay, hold up. Oh. Okay. The plan is to... Do Falcon Slash. And then... Gust Slash. And it helps to have Miracle Slash up, but I don't. Alright, he's gonna jump down. Even guarding did nothing. From what I heard, the main character, Lucius, has a better guard. So it's better to um, switch to him if I'm gonna guard first, which is very difficult to do, in my opinion. Um, okay, here we go. Miracle slash this shit up. Also, he keeps, he keeps casting Dispel, and I'm never ready for it. So like I said, Terry has a special sword that every time he attacks has a 3% chance to lower his enemy's uh, defense. And it works pretty well against him, I think. I can just get to fucking... Here we go. Much more confident now. Now that uh, 
I sort of can't be stopped. Like, he can't damage me in this mode. I feel a lot more confident. I'm not doing as much as I wanted to. But, it's okay. Oh, I'm gonna miss it. Oh no, am I actually gonna miss the special attack? I hate that. I hate that it goes off automatically. Anik, you gonna pick up Final Fantasy Dissidia? Yeah, I'm interested. I liked um, the PSP versions. I definitely missed. Oh no, I hit him, okay. Get a few hits. Um, yeah, I liked it on PSP. I think I'll like it on um, on PS4 just as well. I'm gonna die, I can feel it. Can't believe I didn't die. Oh, come on, here we go. So it's also super easy for uh, Terry to earn his um, Coup de Gras because it he attacks so often. I can't believe I did it. Yes! Oh, I heard he wasn't as I heard he wasn't particularly as hard as Zoma was, and now it's kind of proven. But God, that felt good. Oh, so many trophies in one stream. But yeah, I'm super interested in the city. And I got gold time. Look at that. Literally, literally the greatest player of all time. Oh, man. Thanks some GG's in chat, please. Alright, so this has been trophy hunting stream. I don't know. Should I? Because what I have left to do is like typical trophy hunter garbage in that it's annoying. <laughs> it's, um... So I think what I have left is to get all weapons and the Puff Puff trophy. I don't think I have anything else. Let me double check. Guess you gotta go back and try Stardew again, you're on a roll. <laughs> no, I really don't. So we got Variety Clubber, which is rare-ish. So the ones I have left is getting every weapon and every orb, uh, getting all the Puff Puffs, and uh, collecting a total of 50... Um, challenges, which is super easy to do. I can bang that out very quickly. Uh, the Puff Puff one is just another time-consuming one. But this is what's annoying about collecting all the weapons and um, stuff. So, first off, this is a great feature, and I wish every game would do this. You can claim accolades, so every time you earn a trophy, you can come here and like select a trophy. Uh, where is it? Map Mania. Here it is. So, Variety Clubber. I've earned it. You claim it, and then it shows up in your thing, and then they actually give you some in-game currency for beating it. And depending on how hard of a trophy it was, you get different rewards. So I got five mini medals. Now, on the surface, sounds fantastic. And then you realize that to get all the weapons, I think I did, I think I calculated it. And this is just the remaining weapons that I have. So I've already gotten the gauntlets, I've gotten the shield. Um, so to get every weapon, you need... I so I, for the mini medals I have 26 and I they gave me five for a plat for a silver trophy. I need I think 319 more or 300 and something more, which is garbage because they um they only drop like rarely and even then it's like you'll you won't get nearly enough from normal play so you have to actually grind it out, which is not fun in my opinion. I have no idea who I've, it's the problem with playing this game so far apart is I don't remember for sure who I've gotten a puff puff from. It resets every time you come back to the base, but I don't. They also just sometimes nobody will give you one, which is annoying. So that one's gonna take me a bit, but I think there's a strategy for this one, and it's oh, I gotta go back in there anyway. I think there's a strategy for getting this particular um, trophy, and I believe it involves uh, this character, who is also level 99 because I've used her so much. Um, hold on, wait, let's do this. But essentially, ah, oh, damn it, I hate when, if I back out, it doesn't count. Oh, snap, E. Landshark with the Twitch Prime just for the third month in a row, thank you so much. That is awesome. Thank you very much for that continued sub. Oh, night. Thanks for coming out, Elens. Enjoy the rest of your evening. 
Also, see you later, Under. Or, you might have been replying to Under, now that I realize it. Alright. So, I think the strategy for this... Let me just make sure I have the equipment right. Yep. So, I think... I want to swap that for something else. So, there's a special... Um, equipment called the Allure Ring, which will increase the drop rate of mini metals. Uh, so where you want to go is you want to go to Kallenberg, which is like the second area. I think you want to go recruit. Um, there's basically a spot you can go where you can make monsters infinitely respawn. I've heard this is one way to do it, and there's another way too. I've, I'll try this one for a little bit, and then I'll try the other one. So Bianca has a super OP ability where she runs up, you do this one ability, and basically can like guarantee criticals. So I already got one mini medal right there, which is nice, but not nearly enough. So I think this is the spot you want to go. I'm not sure. You can kind of like run back and forth, shoot there, then fire some shots off here. The video made it look way easier. I think there is a better area to do this, though. So, on paper, that's not bad, but it's not enough for me. So, have I not done this? Okay. There's a better area, I think, to do it. It's called the Fields of Gould, which is just all slimes. All the time! I don't think the mini metal drop rate is, differs from monster to monster. I think every monster has a flat rate. I don't know what that rate is, but I know that, um... The accessory increases it by 2%, which is garbage, to be honest. Grindy trophies are the worst. Totally agree. It's just not fun. Alright, but because I did come back here, I should um do the puff puff again. Alright, Yangus, what do you got for me? Nothing. Isla, nothing. Jessica, nothing. Aurora, nothing. Maya, nothing. Nira, nothing. Pissarro, nothing. Doric, nothing. Oh, so I have gotten Alina's before too. So, okay. I can cross her off the list at least. Nothing. Did she say Ennit? I think she did. I think when you talked to her, I think she's supposed to be Irish, but so when you talk to her, she goes, Ennit? Right, Jovi's the worst. Maybe you shouldn't bother. Sean, if I didn't do this, then you wouldn't have any competition and you just wouldn't get trophies. Do you imagine a life where you didn't get trophies? I shudder to think of it. So I think this will be good, because I think this will let me grind out all, all three trophies at once. Basically, clear the area. Counts as clearing a dungeon. And then I'll get a chance to go back to the, uh... The main area. So it's just a fuck ton of, uh, slimes. That's the whole thing. And she takes them out really fast. So her arrows will home in on them too, which is very nice. This is this basically right here is all I need to do now, which I find very boring. Um, it reminds me of Dead Rising 2. I kind of have <clears throat> I have to grind. I like Dead Rising 2, but it does feel a little bit grindy. So right now in Dead Rising 2, I have to grind out. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. I have to get the 72,000 kills. Then I have to dress up in every outfit available in the mall. Then I have to set foot in every single store in the mall. And then... I'm trying to think of what else. So those are trophies. I'm trying to remember what I... There's definitely more I have to do. Um, you know, now that I look at it, this isn't terrible for spawning mini metals. It's... It's not super fast, but it's working. I think I've gotten a few. I'll wait till I finish. While well, watching you got me into trophy hunting, Nick. Really? Elin, you should uh, join the Discord. And, um... Just sign up for uh, TrueTrophies.com. Think of it as like a feed that'll show you games that your friends are playing, and it'll uh, it'll like track them for you and stuff like that. It's really cool. It's if you're getting into trophy hunting, I highly recommend this site. It um, it's cool to like compare yourself alongside others as well, so you can like see what games other people are playing, how many trophies, how close they are, etc. Sean turned me on to it, and it's honestly pretty awesome. Latest fad in Zalus Land, yeah. We talk about it a lot in um, the tryhard gaming chat in the Discord. Yeah, it's super fun. Think of it as like a not shitty Facebook feed, 
But it's like, there's no like, fucking, you won't believe what happened next. It's just pure stats. And it's really satisfying to look at. This is pretty efficient, actually. But uh, you have to be friends with us, so you have to add us. Uh, mine is just Wrath of Zalus. And then you can find, I think, the rest of my friends' names from me, if you want to. Currently, I think there's five of us, Sean. Is that right? There's me, you, D.O.P. Deity, um, Azure, and Night Demon, I think, at the moment. I'm going to check how many medals I got after this, and I'll decide if it's bearable or not. I think there is a way to increase the drop rate, too, but I'm not sure. John G2? Ah. I, hadn't, uh, I haven't been at it yet, or I haven't checked it. That could be a two. It is super satisfying when True Trophies is like, Oh, your streak ended, and then you update it, and it's like, Oh, no, your streak is still gone. Okay, she's not Irish. She's Cockney? Northern? Maybe? Told you I'd have them. Alright, this will give me the rundown on exactly how many mini, mini medals I got. I think it was pretty efficient and not that hard, so. Fairly doable. Uh, 13? That's not bad. I can deal with that. I'll probably have the platinum for this in like a day or two. Sorry, about a year and a half ago, I barely got 26 platinums. Barely? And 26 is a pretty decent amount compared to some of the other ones. Sean and I are freaks of nature, so don't compare yourself to us. But I think that's pretty, uh, that's pretty, uh, uh, I'm trying to think what the word is. It's definitely something to write home about. Yeah, I do think that's impressive for a year and a half as well. I think overall, Sean and I both got around like 20 in the last year total, so that says something. All right. Yeah, now we definitely want to add you because we want to. I want to compare that shit. Yeah. All right. So uh, that's probably enough of this game, and probably enough for the stream. If I'm being honest, um, we got a little bit of stuff in. I'm gonna call it a grab bag of a uh, let's platinum. I think that's like 17 like this past year. That's tied with Sean. That's saying something. And Sean's a very heavy computer, so competitor. All right, that's it for me tonight. Thank you all for coming out. Uh, be sure to sign up if you're a trophy hunter. Be sure to sign up for uh, TrueTrophies.com. Add me Wrath underscore of underscore Zalus. Add Sean seven nine seven nine. And anyone else and join the discord and talk about it there uh so yeah see you guys have a great night and this is my late night flappy flappy bird stream